Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Today's financial landscape is filled with thousands of uh, instruments to speculate on, and uh, the financial media bombard us every day, every single minute with news and tidbits, and we're supposed to make sense of it all. Of course, it's a very difficult task to do, but today I will show you a way to cut through the noise and make wise investments without paying an arm and a leg to an investment advisor or hedge fund or a wealth manager in a bank. Regular viewers of the channel have heard me talk about lazy portfolios and tactical asset portfolios. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do lazy portfolio, how to build it and how to invest in it and make your money work for you instead of the other way around. Welcome back everyone to Stadwaysis channel. My name is Ali Casey. So what is a lazy portfolio? A lazy portfolio is a collection of investments that as the name describes, they require very little maintenance from your side. So they are more suited to long-term investors that have a 10 year horizon. It is considered a passive investment like you investing in index funds, but of course they have much better returns and much better drawdown. So overall, they have a better risk adjusted ratio, which is a fancy way to say that you have higher returns and less drawdown than the index fund. So when it comes to investing, lazy is good because you don't want to work hard. You want your money to work hard for you. And on top of that is they are very easy to build and they are very easy to follow. And I'll teach you how to do it in this video. Now, there are a lot of information on the internet about lazy portfolios. If you just search the term lazy portfolio, many of them will come up on the first page of Google and second and third and 30. But basically, they are uh, portfolios designed by pioneers in, in this uh, industry and sometimes just hedge fund managers, economic uh, advisors. But basically, they are uh, these uh, portfolios are open so you can test them and they actually been used to invest in by hedge funds so they are very safe to get into and you can easily pick and choose the one that suits you more because basically you can tilt the balance between uh, more risk and more returns or less risk less risk and less return depending on your uh, situation basically what they try to do they try to get returns while navigating the economic stage most of you know i highly admire ray dalio and he designed the all weather portfolio and in that portfolio he describes very well that the economy usually in four phases either inflation or deflation uh, growth or stagnation so most lazy portfolios try to navigate those four regimes of uh, the economy and of course some of them do good in some regimes and some of them do bad in the others and some of them do well all over but they have less return of course because you cannot have it all and so that's why you need to pick and choose which one is better for you. Now, all these lazy portfolios are constructed of financial assets. And these financial assets are stocks, bonds, commodities, precious metals, real estate. And of course, many subcategories in them like, you know, small cap uh, stocks, big cap stocks, international stocks, international bonds, corporate bonds. And let us go on and go on. So you can... Uh, pick and choose sectors, uh, countries, or you can pick uh, just broad like all stock index of the world. Now, if you watch any of my old videos, you will know that I don't prefer this portfolio to invest your money in. But this is a really good start that if you don't want to go any further. So not everyone uh, like finance or or have the free time to do this. But so at least you need a lazy portfolio because lazy portfolios are better than index funds. So all successful people in finance at least recommends at least to invest in index fund, which is really good. The problem with index fund is they have huge drawdowns and that's because they are high risk, high return. But over a long period of time, it's good. But the problem is you might face decades of no returns. So then that's not good. What if your time horizon is only a decade? So then you need to make sure that you're going to perform in this decade. And that's where lazy portfolio comes in. Well, first of all, they don't have the big drawdown and they can actually match or surpass the index fund return. So you get the best of both worlds in this portfolio. The, the reason I don't like it is because the return is below 10 usually. 
and you can easily just with a little bit more effort you can jump to 15 or 16 percent uh, annualized return but at least a start is a lazy portfolio at least you cannot go wrong with any lazy portfolio so it's much better than index fund so you should start with this now if you search the subject uh, then as i mentioned you will have many resources and you can read a lot about them and there are many comparisons online between each portfolio and you can waste uh, not waste you can invest hours to learn about the subject but of course you have me to tell you uh, and summarize uh, what's out there and what's good and what's not so good it's good to read about other people testing this but you will get a lot more uh, push in your confidence to test it yourself and it's really easy to do there's nothing to it in fact you can do it in an excel sheet but of course uh, we are all good traders and i'll show you a better way to test it so portfolio charts uh, is a free site and if you go you can see uh, the comparisons done over almost i think 20 portfolios but you can see return in 74 return in 2008 these are crisis years and drawdowns and basically these four which is larry portfolio or season portfolio this is the ray dalio all weather portfolio and then the permanent portfolio and golden butterfly these are always on top in every comparison you have and these are the percentages that they invest in basically these are the best portfolios and the site is full of information i highly recommend it these are all the portfolios in the uh, uh, on the site and all these are lazy portfolios meaning you just need to implement them once and rebalance quarterly or uh, uh, half a year or every year they are very easy to implement and like I said, basically these, as you can see also from the scatter plot, these four usually always comes on top. So I'm going to stick with Ray Dalio as the best. This is one of the four best portfolios after all these tests. Now this test will be corroborated by others who uh, do testing on, and if you search the net, you will find many. Now to implement the portfolios and to test it we need a tool uh, of course you can do it in excel like i mentioned because they are all very easy to calculate and the data is available but of course there are many tools uh, to do this and i'm gonna pick this tool portfolio visualizer it's not a free tool but you can do a lot with the free version and i contacted the uh, owner of the site and they don't do affiliates so unfortunately I cannot get you any discount but again you can do a lot with the free version so if you go to portfolio visualizer and just create a free account and go to tools backtest portfolio then you will end up here uh, start year and year include year to date the uh, amount to invest cash flows we're going to rebalance annually in the beginning and the benchmark is going to be the S&P 500, which is represented by Vanguard 500 Index Investor. So the way to do the test, of course, you need to do the percentages and the ETFs you're going to pick. Now, of course, all these sites perform. Uh, so let's say, for example, this one is the all season portfolio. So if you click on it, it will give you the percentages. So total stock market, long-term bonds, intermediate bonds, commodities, and gold. And then if you go to ETF database, you will find many versions that represent these assets. So total stock markets, you will have more than one ETF and, and so on and so forth. But uh, Portfolio Visualizer already have for the most uh, famous, let's say, uh, portfolios they're already built in so if you click on portfolio and just pick uh, for example here we have these lazy portfolios and let's pick Ray Dalio so you can see it's already done for you so 30% VTI which is total stock market index and actually if you just uh, click on it the database is there so you can see this is Vanguard total stock market index ETF sorry and then 40% TLT, which is just delete and put TLT. And that's the treasury bonds, 20 years, that's long term. 
and then 15% which is short term so that's this one 7 to 10 so intermediate and then DBC which is the commodities uh, fund and then gold uh, which is tracked by seven and a half so we're going to compare it to the Vanguard and the data we have since 1985 and rebalancing annually so we just click on analyze and you can see that's really easy it's just a click and it will spit out all this information and this is what I'm talking about you can see that the S&P 500 had a drawdown of almost 51 percent while the all weather has a 12 percent drawdown and the compound compound annual growth is is very close now this will be different depending on what year you start at but you can see that the starting in 2007 because these funds don't go all the way back to 1985 so starting in 2007 up to 2017 the all weather portfolio was beating the S&P 500 index and since 2017 which is the height of the bubble that we are in now the S&P 500 is beating the all weather but you can see any uh, any crash like look at this is the 2020 crash in March 30% down and you can easily drop below the all weather portfolio and that's what the all weather portfolio is designed to do it is designed to navigate these uh, high risk uh, crashes now we can do of course all the lazy portfolios we can test them but i'm going to show you another one so if you see here that we have the all season portfolio and the gold, golden butterfly which is also in the top four so i'm going to test the golden butterfly and here is the golden butterfly so the golden butterfly is basically well let's click on it so it consists of 20% of these sectors total stock market small cap long term bonds short term bonds and gold 20% each this is total stock market and long term treasuries and gold and short term treasuries and uh, small cap so everyone is 20% but i also did a 2x Ray Dalio. The reason I did this is to show you that even with margin account and basically you're taking more risk that this portfolio is much better than the S&P 500. So in this test we notice what? We notice that although the all weather portfolio is really great to navigate but it depends when you start sometimes the S&P 500 will beat it. So let's say you start 2017, obviously you're losing. Not losing, but I mean your, your performance is less. But with this now, I'm going to show you that uh, that's not always the case. So these shares, these ETFs, they are double the performance of the regular ETF. So these Pro sh uh, Shares Ultra S&P 500, that's 2x the, the, uh, the leverage okay so all these are 2x the leverage of of these so you can see it's the same percentages 30 40 15 7 and a half, 7 and a half. now in terms of dig this is the, the this is oil and gas as i represented it as commodities because there is no uh like dbc 2x yet and as i mentioned before these etfs are coming all the time uh, like it's it's rarely that you're gonna see something not represented by an ETF and this will only grow stronger as time goes by so if we analyze this portfolio now because we picked these ETFs so we have a shorter time period now so now we have data since 2011 but look at the returns now since 2011 the all weather portfolio is 21,000. The golden butterfly, which is remember, it's in the top four, is 21, it's almost 21,000. So it's really close 8%, 7.6. And look at the drawdown, also really close 7 and almost 7. So Ray Dahlia 2x, that's two leverage, it's 15% drawdown. 
while the S&P 500 is 19%. Now this 19% happened in March. So this is measuring the monthly data. And you can see here that this is March 2020 drawdown recovered by July 2020 based on monthly returns. So we know that based on daily returns, it's, it's the drawdown was 30%. But even then, Ray Dalio All Weather 2X has a better drawdown, better returns. So you can see we're, we're doing 13.7%. This 13.7% should perform long term, not like the S&P now where we are in a bubble. It's just because now we don't have enough data. But anyway, the concept is there. Basically, you can double the return, but even at 15%, which is double the drawdown, you will have double the returns. And while the S&P long term, the return is around 7% or 8% or maximum at 9%. So the Ray Dalio at 2x is a much, much better lazy portfolio than, than anything. You, you're getting double the returns. And of course, in tactical asset allocation, we can do better than this. But still, this is like, you know, we're rebalancing annually here. And let's see, you can rebalance, uh, let's do semi uh, quarterly. And let's test now. So let's remember it's 13.7. Uh, and let's see what's gonna happen when we rebalance quarterly. So now it's 15.7. So the return is, is better on all of them. And what does this mean, rebalancing quarterly? That means every three months, you rebalance uh, the portfolio. So if VTI has increased more than 30%, then you sell off that and put it in whatever is less. So let's say the DBC will be less than 7.5%. So that's it. You trade once every three months. And not necessarily because rebalancing doesn't happen all the time. And that's it. You beat the S&P 500 by a huge margin with much less drawdown. So that's it. You get your pie and you can eat it too. It's the best of both worlds. Okay, now that I show you how to build and test these portfolios, uh, then you need to invest in them. And the way to invest to invest in these portfolios is really easy just open a brokerage account because we will implement these portfolios using ETFs so ETFs exchange traded funds they are treated like stocks so any stock broker can carry these uh, ETFs and once you open your account in those bro uh, brokers you just buy the ETFs and rebalance them every six months or a quarter or a year depending uh, on your time and also it's easy to uh, add more money to this portfolio at any time because at any time let's say if you're adding a hundred or a hundred thousand or a million you just divide it as per the uh, percentages and you buy those shares so they are very easy to add money to to withdraw money from and they are very easy to rebalance so there is no excuse at all for anybody not to do this. And again, as I said, this is a start, but uh, it's also fine to just stay in them because if your life doesn't allow you to do more research or spend more time, or you just hate this uh, investing thing, then this is a great way to park your money in something that's gonna make your money work for you all the time, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Also, new ETFs are coming all the time. For example, uh, just two days ago, I got the news that uh, Canada will be the first to introduce a crypto fund, an ETF basically, not a hedge fund, because this is a new asset and it's not included because all these lazy portfolios were built before the cryptos become a major asset. So now you can include this as a, a part of your investment. So. In the case of Ray Dalio portfolio, Ray Dalio have 7.5% in gold. So you can actually take some percentage and put it in this ETF, which is a cryptocurrency, because crypto will act like gold. But of course, you can do whatever you like, but at least, at least invest in a portfolio. Because portfolios, they are always, no matter what you do, what you test, they're always better than single investments. Because portfolios will have more chance 
and less drawdown to make you money than any single uh, investment. Of course, the flip of that coin is, yes, single investments, my, you might hit the jackpot with it, but remember that you're, you're uh, building your retirement fund. Okay, this fund is not to take it uh, lightly. It should be in a stable, well-researched, uh, robust portfolio like the one we talked about. So I hope uh, this was useful to you. As always, if you have any questions, please do comment below the video or email me and I'll be happy to answer them. In return, I only ask you to smash the like button as Google algos like them. And they usually, if they see many likes, they push it to other people to see it. And I hope to, uh, for many people to see uh, the content I'm providing because I think it's really helpful for anybody, regardless of their age and their income bracket, they will help them to build their uh, uh, nest egg. Also, if you like the content I'm providing, you can always subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when a new content gets uploaded to the channel. And as always, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.